Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger. Let's understand the requirement that I am going to demonstrate with the help of record trigger flow. So we need to update account record using fast field update. So whenever accounts billing information is populated or updated, then we need to copy that information to shipping address. So I will be doing this for account creation as well as on account updation. So let's jump to developer edition org. So I'm going to create new flow. So I will be creating a record trigger flow and here I'm selecting account as object. Now I'm selecting this third option that is a record is created or updated. Now here I need to apply the condition. So before applying this condition, let me take you to the object manager so that we can see the fields which are uh, related to address. So if I go to account object and under fields and relationships, if I search for address, so you will see billing address and shipping address fields are available, but you can't use these APIs directly in the flow because they are internally divided into separate APIs. So if I go to the UI and check this billing and shipping information. So here you can see under billing address, you have billing street, city, state, zip code, billing country. Similar, uh, similarly, you have uh, all five fields under shipping address as well. So we need to have these fields individually in the flow. So here I'm searching for shipping, sorry, I'm searching for billing information. So you can see billing street, sorry, billing city country. Then if you go down postal code, state street, all fields are available. So you need to select them one by one. And then you can select is changed true, then add condition. So I already selected this or so any of the field, like if billing city is changed, then also this flow will work. If billing country is changed, then also this flow will work. Similarly, I have postal code. If it is changed, then flow will work. Then I have billing state is changed to then billing street is changed true. So this way, any of uh, these five field is changed, then this flow should work. And I'm selecting fast field updates because I need to just update the account record. I don't want to do anything with the related record. So I clicked on done. So this way, this record trigger flow is available. Now from here, I just need to select the update record. So I'm going to update the account record. So here you can see this radio button is automatically selected. Use the account record that triggered the flow. So uh, the account record through which this flow will be triggered, only that record will be updated. So you don't need to provide any condition and you can't do because uh, we just selected fast field update that works on the current record through this, uh, through which this record trigger flow is triggered. So here we need to select shipping information. So shipping city. So here we can assign. Okay. So we need to select record dot billing city, then add field shipping country equals to dollar record dot billing country. So whenever any record trigger flow is triggered, whenever you create or update any record so that uh, newly created or updated records information will be available in this dollar record variable. So that's why we are using that. So next we can have shipping postal code. So record dot postal code. So here we need to select billing then shipping state. So 
here we can select dollar report dot billing state and then shipping street equals to report dot shipping sorry here we need to select billing street so this way all the billing information will be available uh, will be copied and will be available in the shipping information now i am clicking on done So here, like you won't be able to have that dollar record. You just need to select the field. So it will be uh, automatically related to the record through which this record trigger flow is triggered, right? So now I can save this. So up, copy billing information to shipping. Now I am clicking on done. Activating this flow. So now if I added this record, so if I provide some information, so let's say street, I'm writing test street, test city. Test state postal code dummy then country let's say india and save so you can see the billing information is copied to the shipping information now if i change anything let's say i'm changing country from india to usa and saving this record so at right hand side you can see shipping information is changed so if you change any value let's say we are uh, changing billing city so test city updated now i am saving this so you can see test city updated is populated here so if you change any of the field related to billing that change will trigger the flow and that change is available in the shipping information as well now if i go here try to create new account record and provide this information and click on save. So now you can see uh, this flow is not working because uh, we applied the conditions as is changed, right? So now what we need to do, So here I need to have uh, five more conditions. So let's say billing city, then I can write is null, false, right? So for update, it is working properly, but we need to apply this for insert as well. So for insert, you will be having these conditions. So billing street is null, false then postal code is null false and then state is null false click on done save as save as a new version and activate now try to create new account. So filling these information again. And clicking on save. So this time, if you go to details, you can see all the informations are copied from billing to shipping. Now let's check update as well. So I'm updating street and clicking on save. So here you can see street is updated. So this way, if you apply these conditions, so in this way, 
your flow is working for both create as well as update. So this way, with the help of fast field update, you can update the same record through which your record trigger flow is triggered. 